inconsistent systems can still be reduced by Gauss-Jordan elimination. Although there are no specific values for the variables, the solution can still be simplified to reduce to row echelon form. Welcome to numerical solutions to CE problems. Let's solve for the variables values of the system of linear equations x minus 2y plus 3z is equal to 3, 5x minus 9y plus 4z is equal to 2, and 2x minus 4y plus 6z is equal to negative 1. First, we transform the equations into an augmented matrix. There will be three rows for the three equations and also four columns for x's, y's, z's and the constants. We can continue similarly like Gaussian elimination. So we take the first row as the pivot row and element 1 1 as the pivot element. After identifying the pivot element of column 1, we can now eliminate the other elements on that column starting with element 2 1. So we use row 2 minus 5 times row 1 as the new row 2. And that will give 5 minus 5 times 1, making it 0 for element 2, 1. The new element 2, 2 can be computed as negative 9 minus 5 times negative 2, giving the value of 1. Then element 2, 3 has 4 minus 5 of 3, which yields to negative 11. And lastly, the constant has 2 minus 5 times 3, which gives negative 13. The next step is to zero out element 3, 1 by the row operation, row 3 minus twice of row 1. So we have 2 minus twice of 1, which is 0 as the new element 2, 1. Element 2, 2 is negative 4 minus twice of negative 2, which is again 0. Element 2, 3 has 6 minus twice of 3, again 0. And lastly, the new constant is computed as negative 1 minus twice of 3, which is negative 7. With so many zeros from the left side of the third row, we can interpret the equation as 0 is equal to negative 7, which is definitely false. So we can conclude that there is no solution for the system of linear equations. However, what we can do is to reduce the matrix into RREF. One characteristic of the reduced row echelon form is to have the leading element in every row as 1. So in the matrix, we need to divide the third row by negative 7 to come up with the leading element equal to 1. Next is to eliminate the other elements in the constants column, starting from row 2. We use the row operation row 2 plus 13 of row 3 to be the new row 2. With element 2, 1, we get 0 plus 13 of 0, which is 0. Element 2, 2 has 1 plus 13 of 0, giving 1. Element 2, 3 involves negative 11 together with 13 times 0, yielding negative 11. And the new constant is negative 13 plus 13 of 1, giving 0. So to complete the constant column, we zero out the constant at row 1. We do this by reducing row 1 with thrice of row 3. Starting with element 1, 1, we have 1 minus thrice of 0, and that is equal to 1. Element 1, 2 has negative 2 minus 3 times 0 to get negative 2. Moving to the next element, 1, 3, we have 3 minus 3 of 0 to have 3. 
then the new constant is computed as 3 minus rise of 1, giving us 0. We also need to zero out one more element, which is at 1, 2. And we use the operation row 1 plus twice of row 2. So with element 1, 1, we have 1 plus 2 of 0, leaving just 1. Element 1, 2 has negative 2 plus twice of 1, and that is 0. Then element 1, 3 has 3 plus twice of negative 11, and that is negative 19. For the constants, we get 0 plus twice of 0, giving just 0. Let's have a final check of the matrix outcome. Row 1 has a leading element equal to 1 at column 1. Row 2 has a leading element of 1 at the second column. And row 3 has a leading element of 1 at the constant column. Then from column 1, all other elements are 0 except the leading element. Similar case with row 2 and also with the last row for the constants. Thus, we can say that we attained the reduced row echelon form for the system of linear equations. Thank mm -hmm. you.